Okay, hello everybody. What is going on? <clears throat> hello, hello. What is up? It is Friday. Holy crap, this week flew by quick, huh? It is Friday, ladies and gentlemen. November 10th, 2017. Hello and welcome to today's gameplay stream. How you doing? What is up? Huh, welcome to a full day of gameplay streaming. Yes, uh, after yesterday, my schedule getting all thrown for a loop inadvertently, and I didn't have any control over it. <laughs> Happened out of nowhere. It is what it is. That's life, right? Things don't always go 100% according to plan in life. Um, today I'm back, and what I'm hoping, as I said yesterday, or last night, although I know not a lot of people were here last night because it was a you know a late night stream, is that... Uh, I will not have any more interruptions with my live streaming uh, for the rest of, basically, until I take time off, you know, in early December, and then hopefully for December, you know, uh, hoping I don't get sick, hoping that everything, you know, stays good, and that I'm able to enjoy all these new releases with you guys daily, uh, you know, all the way through the rest of November, and, uh, you know, early December. I am already announced that I am going to take uh, some time off. In early December. I don't know when yet. I don't know the exact dates. I will get that solidified for you once I have it solidified. I have a few plans I have to make, actually. Um, based on a few things. And uh, and then once I come back from that time off in December, it's going to be crazy again. Because if you guys aren't aware, this year, there's all this new stuff going on in December. There's two DLCs for Resident Evil 7. There's Player Unknown's Battlegrounds releasing on the Xbox One, and there's Okami HD all releasing at once <laughs> in mid-December. So, I am pretty excited. Um, I am pretty excited that uh, you guys will be here to check out my stuff, right? I like playing new releases every single day. Although, I'll be honest, uh, the situation we're in right now is that I'm in the midst of many games which started weeks ago right i'm playing assassin's creed origins that's what we're playing right here on stream today obviously i'm playing super mario odyssey also a game that i started two weeks ago and i am playing sonic forces now i am going to resume that playthrough starting tomorrow that's a game that i started on monday night slash tuesday um so that being said what happens now is that some people will be like ah oh, he's playing the same games and you know, it's not as interesting as when he was playing new games every day. And I get that. Listen, there are new games. The thing is, the new games that have been coming out, number one, aren't very interesting to me. Um, <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Wilds is just more of the same of Horizon Zero Dawn from earlier this year. A game that I thought was good, but wasn't great. Um, and Need for Speed Payback, which is the new release that came out today. Most people are actually saying it's not very good. <laughs> which is actually funny because I haven't played a racing game in a long time, so I am still interested in playing it, but, uh, you know, we didn't really hear or see much about this game until last minute, and then all of a sudden some people are like, yeah, I've been watching people play it on stream, it doesn't look very good. <clears throat> so, yes, folks, um, I am continuing on with the playthroughs that I've been doing because they are these are pretty damned long games that I need to really get as far into as I possibly can. Uh, the next new release I'll be playing is exactly in one week, alright, if you're not aware, in one week from today will be the release of Star Wars Battlefront 2. And so I will be covering that game, um, because it does have both a single player campaign and a multiplayer, you know, obviously, uh, segment. Multiplayer probably being the main focus of the game, even though, you know, people massively complained about Star Wars Battlefront, uh, 1... <clears throat> saying that, you know, it should have had a campaign. And that is why they added one in this time. So let's hope it's pretty good. I guess we'll see. Okay. Um, so, uh, being that being said, since that is the new release next week, I will be doing a Thursday night, late night premiere stream for it. I will be covering it all weekend. Think about the way that I covered Call of Duty World War II, and that's pretty much how I'm going to cover Star Wars Battlefront, where it'll be several days of just kind of Battlefront, and then I'll go back to everything else. All right. Um... <clears throat> but that means this entire week coming up, this entire week, I can focus on these games that I have been playing, you know, Assassin's Creed, Mario, Sonic Forces. If I wrap one of those up, like, for example, I heard Sonic Forces is pretty short. 
Well, uh, then I have potential that maybe I will check out Need for Speed Payback, right? Maybe I will check out uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wild, something like that. We'll see. I want. I don't want to promise you that because I don't know how long it's going to take me to, you know, get through the stuff that I'm currently playing. But that's kind of what's on the agenda. Is that if I wrap up one of those things, then I will uh, get into something new until Battlefront comes out. All right. Now, also, folks, you may not be aware of this. There is some bad news this morning. Um, the PlayStation VR game, The Inpatient. The game that was made by the same people who made uh, Until Dawn. The game that is supposed to actually be the same plotline as Until Dawn. It actually is supposed to be like a prequel showing how that kid who lost his mind and decided to pretend to be a killer and fuck with his friends so badly, uh, what he went through when he was in a mental asylum, okay? He got delayed. It was supposed to come out on the 21st of November. This was actually going to be the last big release for November for me. Uh, got delayed till late January. So, that game is out for now, obviously. But, being completely honest, the fact that there were so many other games that I'm playing and juggling and, you know, I'm backlogged right now. Right now, let me give you some perspective on the stuff I haven't played that I need to get to, okay? <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn the Frozen Wilds, Need for Speed Payback, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Episodes 4 and 5... Uh, Life is Strange Episode 2. It's Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 2. And there may have even been another one. I think there's a Batman episode. Yeah, Batman. I did a Batman episode I didn't play. So all those Telltale episodic games that came out in November and this... Or, or excuse me, in October. And there was a, one this month as well. I haven't touched them. Because I'm just too busy. I just don't have time to be playing these episodic games. Um. So, because that's the case... Uh, maybe I, you know, I'll have now. Maybe for November, I'll have time to actually play some of those games. You know, the way I see it between between Assassin's Creed Origins, Mario, Sonic Forces, and the other games that I just mentioned that I haven't played yet, there's a significant amount of games to play this month. Um, in addition, there's some other stuff that I may throw in just for for fun. Uh, apparently, there's a new game that everyone is playing. Uh, cause it's a, it's basically become the new meme game. The game that everyone says is hot and cool. And, uh, I think it's called, uh, getting, getting over it or something like that. I actually saw Tolo, Tolo Mayor, who I host, he was playing it last night and the game looks absolutely stupid, but at the same time, it looks also hilarious. And just for a fuck around stream one day, it may be something fun to do. <laughs> um... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what else I want to do this year. But it seems kind of silly, this game. And so I'm considering maybe doing like a one-off stream of it. I don't know if anyone would care, but it just seemed really stupid. And I was laughing so hard at him trying to do this game. <laughs> and I was like, this is the kind of game that would torture me. I know I would completely lose it playing this game. It's rage like crazy. And I know people like to see that. And there hasn't been a lot of rage recently. So I've been considering maybe playing this game. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. Um, we shall see. You know, right now, like I said, I'm so busy with all this other stuff. I'm not. I'm not considering anything. I'm just going to keep playing these games that I'm in the middle of. But also, you got to keep in mind, <laughs> uh, Yakuza Kiwami, a game that I started back in late August, right? And I actually really liked it, but it had to go on hold because I, all the new releases started coming out. Eventually, I got to get back to that too, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, lots of, you know, all new gameplay stuff coming up soon. Hope you're looking forward to it and you're enjoying the stuff that I'm putting out there. Um, sadly, YouTube's been messing with me. Uh, a lot of the videos that I've been uploading, they've been flagging for demonetization. And it's really frustrating because uh, it's basically the videos I knew were going to get flagged. Like, it's Wolfenstein, uh, a few Call of Duty, and... Uh, Evil Within 2. Those playthroughs are all getting demonetized. And I knew they were because previously, my old Wolfenstein playthrough, my old Evil Within playthrough, already got demonetized. So I knew this was going to happen. And the frustrating part is that you have to manually tell every single video that gets demonetized that you want it re-monetized, so please review it. And out of all the videos that this has happened to in the past month, only one got denied. And it was actually a video of Wolfenstein with a lot of graphic content with people's arms getting chopped off and shit. 
But outside of that, most of the videos that this happens to get cleared up. So it's stupid because it just shows, you know, the algorithm does not work. And everyone knows this. Everyone's getting mass demonetization on YouTube. Um, and it's stupid. And YouTube will not take any responsibility for it. And so they just say, oh, just keep, just keep reporting them for, for that, that, that it was falsely demonetized and will improve the algorithm. And then they, and then they claim that they're going to improve the algorithm so that 30% less videos will be flagged. And since they implemented their changes, more videos are getting flagged than before. <laughs> so they lie because they're idiots. Um, so I'm putting up with that. So I'm battling that. And it sucks because, like, for example, last night, um, last night I finished up Wolfenstein The New Order. Or, excuse me, Wolfenstein The New Colossus. I misspoke. And uh, I had to basically... Uh, so, you know, submit a bunch of these videos for review because literally all the videos that I upload... Well, I, I take that back. It wasn't every video. It was um, most of them, okay, got flagged for demonetization. And I get the feeling that reason for that was because it's Wolfenstein. Like I said, it's violence, it's Nazis, it's World War II. And I think that the algorithm that they wrote is getting more wise to, like, what you put in your tags and stuff like that. So, right now, I'm making no money on those videos. So, just to recap, um, <laughs> to give you some perspective here, how frustrating this is, all right? So, Tuesday, right, I played... What did I play on Tuesday? I played, um... Was it Assassin's Creed? No. Yes. Yeah, I played, uh... No, no, no. I played Wolfenstein, and I played, um, God, now I'm so confused. Okay, let's try this again. I played Wolfenstein, and I played the conclusion of Call of Duty World War II, all right? Out of those videos, a few Wolfenstein got d demonetized, but no no Call of Duty did, so which was good. Yeah, uh, Wednesday, I played Mario. I made no money on Mario at all on YouTube, because, you know, uh, Nintendo claims all those videos immediately. Thursday... I played the... Well, first of all, Thursday something happened and I couldn't do my first stream, which sucked, obviously. And then Thursday night, I play Wolfenstein and all the Wolfenstein videos except for one get demonetized. <laughs> so it's like constantly, you know, th whole days out of the week, I'm, I'm working and I'm uploading and I'm making nothing out of it. And it is frustrating. Um, if anything, the one thing that I can say, the reason that I'm lucky is that I have a YouTube channel in DSP Gaming that has some almost 40-some thousand uh, gameplay videos on it. So even with, you know, videos getting demonetized, um, it, it does it affect me? Absolutely. Does it, does it bankrupt me? No. I mean, yeah, I am making less money this month now because all this is happening. <clears throat> but, but it's not killing me. You know what I mean? Like, there, there are playthroughs I'm doing. For example, Assassin's Creed Origins has had no problems at all. So I'm playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and, you know, no issue. South Park, The Fractured Hole, only one video got demonetized. Sonic Forces, nothing happened negative with that. So, you know, it's not like every single video I'm uploading is being demonetized, but it's frustrating when half the work I'm doing, I, I'm not getting any credit or getting paid for. And, you know, there are ignorant people out there who you know, are like, oh, Phil, I don't want to hear about this. Phil, I don't ever want to hear about this. It makes you sound greedy. I'm like, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to your employer, whoever you work, and I'm going to go to your, your payroll department, and I'm going to talk to the head of payroll. I'm going to say, so this person who says, you know, I shouldn't ever be mentioning, uh, you know, this stuff, uh, apparently is condoning the fact that you can lose 50% of your pay due to a glitch or an algorithm in the system. So please, this person, just cut off half their paycheck. They're, they're saying it's okay, you know, because for them, you know, it's fine. If it's fine for me, it's fine for them. So please take 50% of the money that this person would have gotten paid and just don't give it to them and then say, oh, I'm sorry, it was an algorithm glitch. <laughs> but do, do tell them to report the problem so that you can improve it over time. <laughs> That's what I mean. People, oh, I don't want, people don't want to hear it. They don't want to realize there's problems in the world and the world isn't perfect, right? But then they don't want to have that shit happen to themselves. And if it happened to themselves, of course, they'd be the ones complaining. So, 
it, it's 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 a weird feeling because I'm having a lot of fun. You know, I'm, I'm liking the game. Assassin's Creed Origins is a great game. Mario is a great game. Wolfenstein was a great game. Call of Duty World War II, meh. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'm planning on doing another session of that this weekend, I think. Another multiplayer session of that. Um, but, you know, I'm having a lot of fun playing all these new games and sharing these experiences with you guys. I am. Okay? Um, and I want to say thank you to those of you who are here every day on stream, who are supporting me with cheers, subs, and, and, and tips. Uh, in fact, I said this last night. I said, thank God... That last night, when I was finishing Wolfenstein, people showed up and at least some people cheered uh, cheered and tipped. There was no new subs, but people cheered and tipped. Because if they didn't, I, I literally would have made no money on the, the conclusion of the game. Because of YouTube doing this stupid bullshit. It's so frustrating, man. It really is. And as I said, folks, here's hoping that one day, um, I won't have to rely whatsoever all right, I won't have to rely whatsoever on YouTube. That it will be uh, just me coming here, having fun on stream, playing games. And yes, I will probably still be uploading to YouTube, but you know, I don't have to worry about oh, the revenue from YouTube is fucked up or whatever because YouTube fucked up. But I'm certainly not there yet. Let me put it this way: with the amount of support that I've been getting, in particular since the summer, people really have been supportive. Um, you know, it's been really helpful, and if I could keep that up. If I could keep it going, if we could keep it going where, you know, people are showing up to stream and contributing and, you know, it, yes, there is a group of regulars who are here every day and I am very appreciative of all you guys. I recognize you every day here in stream chat and everything, people who are here all the time. Um, but there's also, you know, some newcomers who come by and that's cool too. So all of you who come by and support, um, you know, that maybe, you know, here's hoping if everything goes okay and... This underlying problem that's really still bothering me. And I know, I know, folks, it's really annoying when it's been now a month and a half ago when I first mentioned this underlying problem and I can't give you any details. I still can't because it's so fucking slow moving. It's so insanely slow. It's so stupid. Um, at the same time, um, it's still risky. It's still, you know, there's still a chance that sadly, you know, by the end of this year, I may get some really bad news. And uh, it may be to the point where I don't even know if I could stay here anymore. I may have to sell my house. I don't know. Um, I wish that I had more information for you right now. I literally have nothing. And it's, it's so frustrating for me because obviously I want to make plans. I want to say, oh man, next year. It's my big 10 year anniversary. 10 years on YouTube making gameplay videos. And I want to do special events. And I want to do this and that. And I want to do all these new things differently. And I can't tell you, any, I can't say any of that. Because I don't even know what's going to happen uh, between now and the end of the year, you know. Um, it sucks. I don't know. And with all that going on, you know, I would love to say, oh, you know, with all your support and everything on stream, this is great. And next year is going to be a, a very positive, different kind of year than this year. You know, this year, let's face it, there was so much negativity in 2017 between YouTube, the adpocalypse, right? First, the adpocalypse where half the advertisers left YouTube. Then them running this algorithm that demonetizes everyone's videos. Me leaving Machinima. Uh, me breaking up with my longtime girlfriend slash fiance. Um, and then having to adjust to a Twitch and learning a new method of doing gameplay and all that. And then we have false copyright strikes and all kinds of shit, right? It was so much negative shit this year um, that I had to deal with. And I'm hoping that next year, regardless of what happens, no matter where I get to sh get to live or what I do, I g it's got to be a better year than this year. I mean, this was just ridiculous at this point. I went through so much, and I just want to sit here and have fun and, and play games. And, you know, uh, it's so ludicrous that I got to go through all this shit. It really is. So, all that being said, Thank you, everyone, for your support. Despite the fact that there's all this shit going on behind the scenes that is frustrating me. And, you know, it is. It's stressing me out. Um, it's fun to come here and be able to just stream fun games with you guys every day. It is. This is, this is honestly, a lot of my relaxation just comes from coming and relaxing with you guys and playing fun games, you know. It's all the shit after the fact that I gotta deal with that pisses me off. The demonetization and all that shit. Um, you know. But for the most part... Uh, you know, this is fun. I love it. That's why I do it. I wouldn't be, st I still wouldn't still be doing this if I didn't find this fun. That's for sure. Okay. 
All right. Well, let's uh, let's quickly go through plugs and do a few shout outs here. Um, so, folks, first of all, as you can see on your screen right now, Patreon, the big Christmas marathon event. I would love to do this. This is the new patron goal for this month, if you're not aware. Right now, I think I'm at like 860 bucks or something like that. And the monthly goal is still uh, 1125 bucks as it has been um, for the longest time. You know, really it's 1250 but uh, because of the way that the stupid public-facing patron page works, it says less. I'm not going to get into the details about that because it's so confusing. But anyway, I need about 250 bucks more raised on Patreon this month. We could definitely do it. It's only the 10th. So there's 20 days left. It's definitely doable, all right? If I hit the Patreon goal of funding this month as a celebratory event, I will be doing a special Christmas marathon of gaming by which people who pledged $5 or more will be nominating and voting on bad games, bad holiday Christmas-related games for me to play during this marathon. In addition, I'll be dressing up for the marathon. And I should bring this up. The other day I was looking at uh, ugly Christmas sweaters on Amazon. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. Because now it's become like a, a fad or a, you know, almost a meme to get a bad Christmas sweater. So they sell ridiculous amounts of them now. And I could get so... I could, I, could get, I could get like two or three to change out during the marathon. These hideous, stupid Christmas sweaters. <laughs> I think it would be pretty funny um, to do that. But in addition to that, I'll also be drinking. I'll probably have some eggnog. With some liquor in it, and then maybe I'll have a drink, you know, later on where I'll, I'll be drinking during the stream. So it's going to be the return of me drinking during gameplay, only because it's not going to be a serious stream at all. It's going to be a silly holiday stream uh, of me playing bad games. Okay, I've never done this before. It's an original event. Uh, you know, it's a combination of things that I know work and things that people have been asking for me to do in a long time. So I would think that if I'm if I'm going to hit a funding goal on Patreon, it would be this month. I mean, I couldn't imagine why we wouldn't hit it. When this is something people have been asking for, you know, for quite a long time. All right. So, please consider pledging to my Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash DarksideFill. Keep in mind, it's not just about the monthly event. You get other personal perks, like getting text or verbal thank yous in my YouTube videos. Uh, getting shout outs on Ask the King. Getting premium forum access and being able to, you know, participate in these kind of monthly events with voting and such. Uh, also, you can either get your questions answered on Ask the King for guaranteed on the show, or you can get a private Q&A video made, all right? All these are great perks, and FYI, um, I will be doing a new episode of Ask the King right before Christmas. That's right, it's actually going to be, I believe it was the, the Thursday before Christmas is like the 21st or something like that. So yeah, so any questions that you... Uh, that you ask via your, your pledges now will be answered on the special holiday edition of Ask the King, okay? Just so you know. Um, so please consider pledging, all right? The money helps me out tremendously. In fact, I've been telling everyone I'm going to have to probably buy a new pair of headphones. My Astro A40s here are the only remaining ones that I have that still work, and they're getting worn out. So I'm thinking about buying a new pair of Astro A40 TRs. It looks like there may be a Black Friday sale at, uh, at Best Buy, and I may get a new pair then. Um, so we'll see, but you know, that's what I mean. That's the kind of stuff the money goes towards. It goes towards maintaining all the equipment. Recently, I had to buy a new PS4 pad because my old PS4 pad was all worn out and the response time was getting all bad and everything. So, uh, you know, it keeps me going here. It pays for games, pays for electricity, pays the bills. All right. Thank you very much for your ongoing patron support. I appreciate it. All right. Um, also Teespring, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a whole new slew of Teespring product that has launched. You can see it here in the title card. It's rotating around here. Uh, I just bought one of these. I bought a sweatshirt with one of these designs on it. And I will be showing this off to you on stream uh, sometime next week. I actually ordered it. It's supposed to arrive uh, later next week, so around a week's time. Like, I think Wednesday or Friday. Between Wednesday to Friday of next week. They didn't give me a guaranteed delivery date. Um, so whenever I get it, I'll be wearing it, and I'm excited to show off the new line of product in on stream, okay? Keep in mind that anything that you guys uh, get from my Teespring is uh, a good commission that I make on every single sale. Already, someone bought something, and I want to say thank you to the person who did buy from the new line of product. I'm actually curious if anyone else did. Probably not, but let me double check here. Because I actually have an app. I have the Teespring app that syncs with my phone and it shows all the different 
sales. No, just one person bought two items, so that was nice of them. Um, it's a good idea. You know, Christmas is coming up, and, you know, good idea for a gift for a friend or a relative who's a fan of mine, or even if you want to troll someone who doesn't like me. Get them something dark side filled to put in their stocking, right? Sound good? Okay. And then last but not least, folks, obviously if you're here live on the stream and you want to either cheer, sub, or tip to, uh, you know, participate and contribute and, you know, get hype, you could do so. And if you do so, I will give you a shout-out, a verbal shout-out on the stream. In fact, I'm going to do some in just a moment here. Um, FYI, uh, it is at my discretion because I know some people try to do troll cheers and tips. Last night we had a guy who tried to pretend to be three different people. I'm not even kidding you. There's a guy who, who complained about stream chat moderation when there was nothing wrong with moderation at all. He just had gotten, he had gotten his booty slapped for being bad in the stream chat, like a small child, and then he wanted to complain about it instead of actually grow up and become mature and not act like an idiot in stream chat. So he continuously was tipping me, but then he started tipping me under other names. Like, I wouldn't know that it was him. <laughs> it was so stupid. So that's what I mean. It's at my discretion. If I'm going to read your... Your message or not, if you're going to be trolling or whatever, no, I'm not going to read it. But for the most part, I, I, you know, I give shout outs and I read every single message. Um, if you do tip me $2 or more, if you cheer 50 bits or more, or if you sub to the channel and click the share button, I will also have a pop-up notification on screen. So you get both visual and verbal recognition for your contributions. Okay. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's do some shout outs. Let's do some shout outs, folks. <clears throat> so let's see here. First of all, it was Ratchafan who opened up the festivities today with a $3 tip. Thank you, Ratchafan. He says, I'm cleaning the front room in our basement man cave out, but I will have the stream playing in the background. Well, have fun cleaning up the basement. That could always be an endeavor. When I used to live you know, with my parents, uh, the basement was pretty much uh, clutter city. Everything that wasn't actively used immediately would be shoved into the basement. And then we'd go down there actually find something and you could never find it. <laughs> of course. Um... Here, I see. I don't have a basement in my house. Uh, we, there is, there are no basements in Washington State in this area. All the houses basically are built at ground level, and no one dug under to do a basement. Uh, I have an attic, but the attic is tiny, and it's really just a crawl space. It's not like there's there's not living space up there. So really, for me, my storage area is the nook. There is a storage nook in my bedroom where all of my statues and the like from that I used to have out in Connecticut. That's where they're all stored. They're just sitting there. And yeah, that, that's pretty much like my basement. It's all cluttered. You know, there's all shit there. And uh, eventually I would like to sell that shit. But sadly, you know, I looked, I actually looked around in Washington at different stores, like, uh, you know, collectible stores, comic book stores, that kind of stuff. And I made a few calls and basically no one's interested in buying any of that stuff, which sucks because really I have two options left. I could either, number one, try to put them up on eBay, but you know what's going to happen. If I put them up on eBay, I'm going to have to make a totally new account so no one knows that it's me. Because um, if someone knows that it's me, I'm going to get nothing but fake bids and trolling, I'm sure. Um, and number two, the other option would be to just go to a pawn shop and be like, look, I got a ton of shit, you know, and, you know, this is high quality models. You'll probably be able to sell them for good money. Uh, and I know you're going to probably give me not even half of what they're worth, but I'd like to, you know, get rid of these and make some money. And it sucks because I know a pawn shop, you know, you're talking models here that are $300 or more. Some of these models, I'm not even kidding. There's a Joker model I have that's worth like $800. I have a portal replica gun that I never opened that's worth over $1,000 if you look online. You can't even buy it anymore. It's, you know, rare. And it's closed taped. I never even opened it. Um, but I can't, you know, how do I sell it? That's what I mean. How do I sell this shit? It sucks, you know. It's funny because you say, oh, you know, you know, these collectibles are worth so much money, you know, and, you know, the resale value is great. Like, yeah, but you know what? Resale value is only based on what people are willing to pay. It's not, yeah, you might look at a book and in a book it says it's worth this or you might look and say, oh, other people are selling it for this. But unless someone's walking up to you and offering you that amount of money for the item, it's not worth that at all, you know. So I've got a ridiculous amount of shit just sitting around. That I, w I could sell and it would help me out tremendously and I have no means to really sell it. Because I know on eBay, I would just get trolled. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of stuck. But anyway, I digress. Shout out to Attorney of Forever who did 115-bit cheer and says, 
That is a shit ton amount of videos. Most productive and consistent man on the internet. Yeah, you know, let, lest no one say that I haven't been doing anything for the past 10 years. I mean, the, the evidence is there. I mean, how many thousands of hours, right, of gameplay, vlogging, how much you know, have I put on the internet? 10 years of my life, guys. I mean, no, no exaggeration. 10 years of my life is pretty much on the internet, right? The past 10 years, you've seen all the stuff that I've done in gaming. Um, It's all been documented and recorded and put on the internet. And, I mean, name another person who has made that many videos, been that prolific uh, in the past 10 years. I don't think you'll find one, you know? Uh, I rarely take time off when I do. Uh, usually it's for good reason, and then I come back and I, I'm, I'm, you know, right back into it. Um, I work seven days a week. You know, I don't even have a day off, per se. Um, it's pretty nuts, right? So, yeah. Pretty crazy the amount of videos that I've made. And, uh, you know, ten long years that have been awesome. You know, I'm not going to front. I liked it. I certainly wouldn't have done it if I didn't like it. Doing this, being my own boss and everything. And, you know, there's been ups and there's certainly been downs. But, you know, I'm certainly better off now than I was before I started. That's for sure. When I started, I was living in a, a tiny bedroom in my parents' house. <laughs> uh, so, things have definitely changed in the past ten years. All right? All right, shout out to Muscles for Bones who subscribed to the channel. Thank you for the sub, Muscles for Bones. Shout out to Darth Radovan Viking who did 116 bit cheer. He says, Someone should make a documentary about you and follow your everyday life. That would have been fun. <sighs> I don't think anyone wants to follow my everyday life. <laughs> you know what I mean? My, my day is not necessarily the most fun constantly. Um, you know, when I'm playing the games, it's fun. But then all the behind the scenes you're having to upload and. Deal with this fucking bullshit of videos getting fucking demonetized. and all. None of that's fun. The, the, the upfront gaming is fun. Everything behind the scenes is not fun. <laughs> There's quite a lot of work that goes, goes on behind the scenes. Trust me. Um, and a lot of frustration too. You know, daily shit that I gotta put up with. Uh, but, but it is what it is. You know, I put up with it to have fun and, and play this stuff, so. All right, um, shout out to Re-Avenger, who resubscribed for the fifth month in a row, and he used the brand new, spanking new DS Pepe, or DSP Pepe emote. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. For, for subs, there are new emotes. Uh, the Pepe emote, only it looks like me. He has a goatee like me. Uh, people are already horrified by this emote and have been using it in stream chat. Subscribe today to get access to your DS Pepe. Shout out to SHC1911 who said, fuck you, Phil. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Ornites who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, you plan to watch the disaster artist in theaters. I don't even know what you're talking about. So I guess the answer is no. I've said this about a bajillion times. I'll reiterate it. I don't have much, if any, disposable income. So I don't go to movies. Uh, very rarely. The last movie I saw was Spider-Man Homecoming back in July. So, yeah, probably once to two times a year do I even go to the movies. Um, and at this point, I really have no desire to. You know, right now I'm in the midst of having, I have Netflix, uh, and I just finished watching season one of The Mist. So I have Netflix with a bajillion things on there to watch. I have PS View now, which is basically, you know, television for... 40 bucks a month, which is nuts. And it's awesome. I've been going through PS View and watching a ton of shit on demand there as well. I started watching The Gifted, uh, the new Marvel television series about mutants. I've been watching The Orville, which is awesome. That's the Seth MacFarlane uh, kind of parody, but also really serious uh, show about... It's basically Star Trek. It really is. It, it plays like Star Trek The Next Generation. It's really awesome. I like that show. Um, I've been watching a ton of shit. You know, so I really have no desire to go out and spend money on movies when I could just stay home and watch, um, you know, tons of fun stuff at night. So, okay. Um, shout out to Tantamounter, who did a 200-bit cheer to become this che the cheerleader for today's stream. Thank you, Tantamounter, for the 200-bit cheer. I appreciate it. 
Shout out to Prime66 who subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Prime66, for the sub. Appreciate that. All right. Um, that is about it for today's pre-stream. It is now time to begin with gameplay of Assassin's Creed Origins, folks. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I like this game a lot. As I said, there's so much going on. So People have told me this game is incredibly long. Like, there's someone told me they played the game for 40 hours and basically got to the end. But, you know, they had they'd also done a lot of side missions and side content, all right? Uh, but they were like, no, they, they had skipped a bunch of stuff. They were like, if I'd done everything, it probably would have been 100 hours. Like, oh, my God. You got to wonder... Uh, However, out of all that, how much is meaningful content and how much is just like, oh, go fetch me shit. Because you saw, folks, there are, are some missions like that in this game. It's basically like an open world RPG. Where some of the missions are like, oh, just go fetch me this, this shit. And you're like, oh, come on. Yeah, I re definitely, I really want to go do fetch quests for you, asshole. No, I don't. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so we'll see. I am liking it. Right now, I'm in the midst of a hunt. I'm hunting down the hyena who apparently is hiding inside one of the Great Pyramids, and I ran inside the pyramid, and I got lost, and I found this rare tr treasure, which ended up just being money, and then, uh, like, some loot, and it gave me an ability point. But that was not the right way, and I gotta go find a way back into this freaking pyramid to try to find this hyena. And then we gotta head on and try to assassinate two more high-profile people, so... It's been pretty fun. Um, Alright, and shout-out to Ratchet Fan who did a $2 tip again. It says, don't forget about BoJack Horseman. Yeah, I gave BoJack a, a break because that was something I was watching a ton in December. Excuse me, uh, September. I was watching a ton of it in September. I, I think I watched like two and a half seasons. I definitely watched the first two and I was in like season three. And I was like, all right, I got to stop watching this. Or I'm going to end up watching the whole thing like nonstop. So giving it a break. I'll go back to it eventually. Uh, but that's the awesome thing about Netflix. There's so much on Netflix. Like I could go to, I, I, mean, I watched a few episodes of F is for Family, which is another adult oriented cartoon. That one's funny as hell. You know, there's all this funny stuff on there, so. Okay. All right, everybody. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to party? Let's party. Da, 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 da. Actually. There you go. All right, folks. Let's begin with gameplay of Assassin's Creed Origins here on the stream. Let's do this. Yes. <laughs> 